Alright everyone, I'll go ahead and show you an updated tutorial on how to install Alt Server on any iPhone or any iOS device on iOS 12 or iOS 13. Now this is still working on the latest version of iOS which is really cool and if you guys don't know basically what Alt Server is, is that it basically allows you to install a ton of different tweaked apps, plus plus apps, all those different things straight onto your device. Now you can only have one at a time, so you can't do this on multiple devices unless you have multiple different Apple IDs that you want to use, but either or it's perfectly fine. Now the first thing you want to do, make sure you have an internet connection, either have a Mac OS device or a Windows device, it honestly doesn't matter, and you want to have an iPhone that is connected to your machine. So as you can see, I'm going to be using my iPhone 11, and like I said before, you want to make sure it's connected to your MacBook or your iMac or Windows, whatever, it doesn't matter and you want to make sure your computer can see your device. So as long as that's good, then you're pretty much almost there. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this specific website, which is the Alt Store website itself, which is altstore.io. This will also be linked down below. And all you want to do is scroll down until you see this specific spot. Now you don't have to scroll down because it's not the type of website. And as you can see, you have either the Mac OS option or the Windows option. So you can choose which one you want to use. In this example, we'll be using the Mac OS one because I am on a Mac OS device. So all you want to do is just click on it and it will be get to download. So all you want to do here, you can just double click it and it'll take you into the, and all you want to do is just unzip that file. So once you unzip it, which will take, you know, a couple seconds probably, you'll get the alt server web app or the alt server app in general, which is really cool. You are pretty much almost there. So what you want to do at this point, you just want to double click on this specific icon. You'll see check for whatever. As you can see, I already have it installed. So I'm not, I'm just going to click don't check because I don't really need it right now. And eventually you will see this little icon appear in the top right corner. So I know it's kind of hard to see from my specific screen, but once you double click it, you'll eventually see it up here. Now you can go ahead and tap on this and you'll, you can kind of get, you know, a little familiarized with how it is. This install alt store, if you can see your iPhone, which is connected to your computer, then you're pretty much good to go. But you want to make sure you're able to see your iPhone here. Now, before you click install, there's some very, very important things we have to do. The first thing is we have to go into iTunes. And so once you have iTunes booted up, it should have been able to detect that your iPhone is connected. For some reason, mine didn't. And as you can see, mine does work now. So what you want to do is you want to get in this specific panel. You want to scroll down, and then you'll see a specific icon tick right here, which is sync with iPhone over Wi-Fi. So what you want to do is you want to enable that. You want to make sure that specific one is enabled. You want to click Done, and that'll go ahead and whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'll go ahead and click Apply. <laughs> And then you're pretty much good to go. So if you are stuck in this screen, you can just click this little phone up here and that'll take you back right here. So once you have that enabled, you're set. Now what you want to do is you want to open up your mail app, which if you guys don't know, looks something like this. Now I do already have it open. So once you do have your mail app open, what you want to do is you want to go up top where it says mail. You want to click preferences, which is right there. And you just want to tap on that. And once you tap on it, you'll probably be presented hopefully in a page like this. It'll look more like this probably. So what you want to do here, you want to click manage plugins and you'll probably see this alt plugin .mail bundle option right here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is clicked on. If you don't see this here, you can try installing alt store to your phone and seeing if that changes it and are we seeing here, but most probably it should automatically be here if you already had it installed before. So you want to make sure that this is ticked on. You can go and hop out of this. You can go and click apply and restart Mac or whatever, restart mail, and then you're pretty much good to go. So what you want to do here is you want to go up top where it says install alt store, which we had earlier. You want to again, make sure your iPhone can be seen here. You want to click on users iPhone or whatever iPhone here, and you want to type in your Apple ID. Now you can type in your actual ID and password, which is your just Apple ID, which you logged into your iCloud account with, or you can always go to appleid.apple.com, log in there and create a, you know, a spe app specific app app password, which is a little bit safer to do, but I trust Alt Store. I've been using it for a little bit, so mm -hmm. you just want to type in your Apple ID and your password and go from there. Now, I did have an issue because I did already have this installed on this specific iPhone, but I'm reinstalling it, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue, and hopefully I don't run into any issues. And I do have a little pop-up on my secondary screen that says installing Alt Store to iPhone, so it's not on this panel, it's on the one right next to me. And you will see eventually that Alt Store, as you can see, is installed on my device. So that is really pretty much the main process. As you can see, once you open it, you will get into it in a little bit of an untrusted developer thing. So what you want to do, you want to click cancel. You want to scroll back into your settings. You want to scroll down into general, which is right here. You want to scroll down into profiles and device management, and you'll probably see your email right there, whatever email you used. You want to click on that. You want to click trust up there, click trust again. And then you're pretty much set. You should be able to open up Alt Store and be able to install IPA files and different things like that, which is really, really cool. 
as you can see you have alt store capabilities now there might be some issues that you might run into i had issues where some problems with xcode and some problems with the mail app wasn't open so you just want to make sure you have the mail app open and you are on the most up-to-date version of the alt store in terms of downloading it as long as you follow those two things you should be good to go so that is pretty much the process if you guys run into any other problems or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys get that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those things are linked down below. I do really appreciate it if you guys to check it out. More importantly, that everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.